Plymouth Municipal Airport just received a major upgrade in the form of 1,000 extra feet of runway for its two most frequented stretches of tarmac. While 1,000 feet of pavement might not seem like much to us out here, where driving 1,000 feet usually means the distance from your driveway to the end of your street. If you're a pilot, it means a more expansive and lengthy landing strip. We headed to the airport to get the details. Project Runway finds its way to Plymouth Municipal. Now that's not really what they're calling it, but it was a sizable project, five years in the works for an additional 1,000 feet on the south side of this airport. Today was the ribbon cutting ceremony. While it's not every day that 1,000 feet of new tarmac gets its own press conference, with a cost of $4.7 million, this occasion seemed worthy. 90% of that cost was paid for by the FAA, while the Mass Department of Transportation picked up 6% and the Town of Plymouth paid for the remaining 4%. With the size of the crowd that turned up for the event, getting to the ceremony was easier said than done as we crammed into the airport trolley. As a member of the Plymouth Airport Commission, Tom Hurley explained the significance of this ribbon cutting. The 1,000-foot extension on runway 1533 was critically important because now Plymouth has balanced runways. Each runway is uh, 4,350 4, feet long, and that means that all airplanes at any given point in time will be using the same runway, whether or not they're larger turbine airplanes or smaller general aviation airplanes. The traffic pattern will be the same. Up until this point, larger planes could only use one of the runways to land during windy weather. So by adding the additional footage, it was not only more convenient, but more important, it made things safer. When the wind was out of the north, the smaller airplanes would naturally land into the wind. They would go on runway 33. But the larger airplanes needed the longer runway, so they had to do a crosswind landing on 624, either one or the other. And the problem there is that not only on the ground, but in the air, in the pattern, you had traffic airplanes flying at 90 degrees to one another. Never a problem, but it was not a safe situation. So now that the runways are balanced, Plymouth is a safer and uh, more noise-free airport. Seeing as this was the airport, they couldn't just have any run-of-the-mill ribbon cutting, so they added some pizzazz to the event. Reporting from Plymouth Municipal Airport, I'm Brian Sullivan, PAC-TV Community News.